Chapter 361, The Childhood Wish. Yi Zheng cut a sorry figure. His blue monk robe was in tatters as he staggered forward, lacking any of the usual grace that the sect taught him. However, who would care about grace at this time? He had never ever thought that the most normal sect mission would take him to such a ghastly place. Many times, he had thought that he had come to the Avicii hell that only appeared on the records. Fortunately, he had worked hard on his cultivation these years, and with eldest Shishong's focused teaching, while his combat abilities were not strong, his body of steel tendons and metal bones was unrivaled. By relying on his great defensive abilities, he had managed to survive in this endless mist until now. Before, he had not understood why eldest Shishong made him cultivate, wisdom Diana body. But now he felt the wonders of this Diana technique. A circle of Buddhist script whirled around his body without rest. This was why the corrosive fiendish mist did not infect his body. Impervious to all evils. Impervious to all evils. Yi Zheng continuously chanted. Beads of sweat could be clearly seen on his shiny and clean head. He had entered this mist for just three days, but in these three days, his heart jumped around, and he was very afraid. He was a Diana Shu, and most sensitive to corrupt, yin and fiendish beings. But this fiendish mist in front of him was endless, and it was so dense it was almost unimaginable. Other than hell, Yi Zheng really could not think of a place that would have such vicious fiends. Fortunately, his wisdom Diana body could naturally subdue these corrupt beings. Even though he had struggled on his way, but he was not wounded. However, his heart did not dare relax. Even the records of the sect had never mentioned such a vicious place. The vicious beings it formed would definitely be terrifying. Exterminate evil. Don't joke. Yi Zheng was very clearly how much he was worth. He believed it was a miracle that he had not been wounded up until now. Right now, he could only hope that the news of his disappearance would quickly arrive to the sect, and the sect would send people to rescue him. Actually, at the bottom of his heart, he also knew that chances were very small. He was only a person at the borders of the sect. He did know how long it would take for the sect to respond after his disappearance. He thought about eldest Shishong, thought about how eldest Shishong would be further neglected now that he was not in the sect. His mood instantly became slightly low. He aimlessly traveled through the fiendish mist. After walking for a short while, sounds of fierce combat could be heard from up ahead. Yi Zheng was startled awake. After pausing, he was overjoyed, and ran with bare feet towards the sound. The sound of battle became clearer. He quickly saw a man fighting fiercely with a fiend soul scorpion. He carefully walked closer. When he saw the scorpion closely, he couldn't help but inhale sharply. More than three Zhang tall and two pincers, each the size of a door. Yi Zheng felt his scalp become numb. If he was grazed by those enormous pincers, even his wisdom Diana body definitely would be unable to tolerate it. My dear Buddha. Yi Zheng swallowed with difficulty. His gaze seemed to be glued and unable to be moved away. It was not due to the great strength of the scorpion, but how strange the scene was. The scorpion's opponent was a sword shoe. Even though the black sword looked more like a horse chopping saber, but Yi Zheng recognized that the other was a sword shoe at first glance, and a very traditional sword shoe. Such a strong sword shoe. Yi Zheng was greatly alarmed. He recognized the origins of this scorpion. Fiend soul beast. This was a fiend soul beast, a vicious being born from the fiendish mist. He had previously been worried that the corrupt grounds would produce something extraordinary, but upon seeing this fiend soul scorpion, he finally realized just how powerful these vicious beings created were. If Yi Zheng's mind was clear now, his face would be pale and alarmed, but at this moment, his gaze was completely attracted by this odd-looking battle. The expression of the sword shoe was dull, as though he was ill, his movements were slow and his gaze wooden. Every time the enormous pincers of the fiend soul scorpion were about to tear the sword shoe in half, his slow movements would suddenly become nimble, and stop the giant pincer by a hair. The confused expression on the sword shoe's face, the dull and slow responses, and the sudden nimbleness formed a strong contrast and was very weird. After watching for a few moments, Yi Zheng felt his Ling power royal and showed signs of losing control. He paled greatly. In terms of the peacefulness of Ling power, Diana Shu were blessed by the heavens. His Ling power was going wild just because he was watching someone else fight? Yi Zheng started his core scripture before he dared to look back at the battle. 
The signs of his Ling power escaping his control instantly disappeared. Yi Zheng exhaled. His eyes returned to the person and scorpion that were fighting. The amazement on his face increased. He looked at the sword shoe as though he was looking at a ghost. Before, he had thought that the sword shoe was in danger, and would be killed at any time. Now that he saw it clearly, he found to his shock that there seemed to be an invisible stickiness to the sword shoe's black sword. The vicious fiend soul scorpion was like a puppet manipulated by many strings and was struggling in this invisible force. A terrifying sword essence. Yi Jung could not detect the sword shoe's sword essence at all. At this moment, he admired this sword shoe's strength greatly. It wasn't that he had not encountered sword shoe before, but it was the first time he had seen one so powerful. Also, the other seemed close in age to him. So young and possessing such power, it definitely was an accomplished disciple of a large sword cultivating sect. Was he a disciple of Kun Lun? Once he saw the state of the situation clearly, Yi Zheng was not in a hurry anymore, and thought about how he would exchange greetings with the person later. He was slightly stuck. This was his first time off the mountain, and he had no experience to speak of. However, being able to encounter a Xiaojie in such a dangerous place, Yi Zheng felt his luck was already pretty good. After a while, the battle still had not finished. Now Yi Zheng saw that something was wrong. The sword Shu's expression was confused and showed no signs of waking up. Was he? Yi Zheng was daring but paid attention to details. His mind moved. After waiting another moment and seeing the situation did not turn for the better, he thought for an instant and then started to chant in a low voice. Countless scenes flashed across Wei Sheng's eyes. They were mirages and shadows, but they were also so clear. The resolution he made as a child, the pursuit of it without fear through dangers, through hardships, sustaining wounds, comprehending the sword at the waterfall, becoming the eldest disciple, drinking alcohol with Zuo Shidi under the stars, the order from the sect. Countless scenes merged together and suddenly formed an enormous net that swept over him. There was no place to escape or dodge. The net grew tighter and restrained him. He felt he could not breathe. The feeling of suffocation filled his entire body. He was like a fish in the net. The more he struggled, the tighter the net was. Why? Why was it like this? I only wanted to cultivate the sword. A burst of anger suddenly came from deep in his heart. He was like a beast trapped in a net that struggled fruitlessly. Why? Why? It was like a silent shout, a furious bellow. Why? Why? He shouted at the top of his lungs, he wailed sorrowfully. In a daze, he dreamed of a patch of stars. In the dark night, the stars in the sky were numerous. A light wind brushed across an empty wilderness. The faint blue sparrow-tailed grasses swayed in the wind. A child about seven or eight years old was sleeping amongst the grass. Raising his head to look at the lights streaking across the sky, the tender child voice carried deep amazement. So beautiful. The child jumped up from the grass. The wind brushed across his face and revealed his glittering eyes. A seed was silently planted in the heart of the child. The dream was so real, as though he could touch it, but distant like how the moon reflected in the water's surface. At this moment, Wei Sheng was like a statue. He looked dazedly at the child. Suddenly, something seemed to burst in his heart, and something came forth. The distance and unfamiliar childhood memory suddenly floated into his mind. Some reasons he had forgotten, those simple thoughts, they were like the blue sparrow-tailed grass seeds bursting from their shells, germination, and then growing. Yes, my dream is to cultivate the sword. A pure dream, a pure pursuit, a wish that a child made under the stars. A strange relaxation came into his mind. The feeling of suffocation disappeared without a trace. Wei Sheng looked entranced at the child underneath the stars. A slightly smile came onto his face, and warmth was shoved into his chest. Yes, it all came from this affection. The complex and common mortal matters that made him feel helpless seemed so small, so insignificant. He opened his eyes, his gaze was clear without any impurity. Ling power suddenly flooded from his dry channels like water sprouting from a spring. When this new Ling power passed, the parts of his channels that had been wounded instantly became filled with life like a tree welcoming spring. The Ling power that followed out was endless. In a short period of time, his Ling power had reached his best state. However, the Ling power showed no signs of stopping. They continued to rush into Wei Shang's channels, and filled every bit of the channels. 
When all of Wei Sheng's channels were filled with Ling power, the new Ling power started to progress towards his Dantian. Wei Sheng did not stop it. He did not do a thing. But that pair of eyes became even bright in the fiendish mist. It was filled with joy, joy from the heart. A faint light covered the black sword in his hand. The fiendish mist around him seemed to suddenly be pushed by an enormous force, pushed far from Wei Sheng and vanished in the blink of an eye. Yi Zheng gaped as he looked at what was happening and even forgot to continue chanting. Crack. The fiend soul beast shattered into dozens of pieces without warning and dropped to the ground. The cuts were peerlessly smooth. Even that pair of unbreakable pincers were dismembered into several sections. A sword shadow appeared behind Wei Sheng. The shadow of the sword went from blurry to clear, and continued to grow. In a few dozen breaths, the sword figure was dozens of Zhang tall. The tip of the sword pointed at the sky. It showed no signs of stopping. It broke through the fiendish mist as though it was going to pierce the sky. Under the colossal sword shadow, Wei Sheng stood majestically. Thunder rolled through the fiendish mist. Tens of thousands of fiend soul beasts howled simultaneously. The blood-red sky seemed to boil. A Worldly Apparition Chapter 362 A Wen Fighting All Out Why Boy's head was covered in sweat. He had solved five of the dozen problems in front of him, but he was stuck on the sixth question. The hourglass beside him did not show any signs of stopping. Seeing the layer of sand at the top half decrease at a visible rate, another layer of sweat appeared on Why Boy's forehead. He had never thought that the prison-breaking battle of the Wasteland Beast chessboard would require him to solve problems. In this era of Yao arthouses, intermediate Yao arts made up the majority of Yao arts, working cooperatively in groups was the mainstream. In the history of Yao, there had never been such a time when teamwork had been so emphasized. To gather the power of a team to explore Yao arts was the dominant method. The Yao art houses that understood this, and could teach their student very well, Analysis and deconstruction were techniques which every student was required to learn. In order to exercise the student's skills, a rich library of problems could not be lacking. In addition to those public question banks, each Yao art house had their own question banks. As one of the top students of a Yao art house, solving problems was a task that he was very familiar with and skilled in. However, his confidence had been quickly crushed in front of the twelve questions of the prison battlefield. Truthfully, when he encountered the third question, he had started to sweat. These problems were not esoteric. Quite the opposite, these questions were in an area every Yao was very familiar with. Little Yao Arts. Even though he was at the sixth question now, it was still a problem about Little Yao Arts. To Y Boy, the Little Yao Arts that were the rudimentary and quite distant in his memory, he had finished learning Little Yao Arts before he had entered the Yao Art House. How old had he been then? Six? Seven? Why boy himself couldn't remember it. However, these problems concerning the simple little Yao arts made him feel helpless from the bottom of his heart. The problems that were formulated were not obscure, the ways of thinking were not weird, they were actually open and honest. This made him feel the failure even more. He encountered difficulty on simple and straightforward little Yao art problems. Why boy's face was slightly ashen. Compared to why boy's nervousness and depression, the spectators outside felt this scene was very boring. There were no dazzling lights, no murderous presences, no complex and profound changes. The honored prison breaking battle was a student solving problems, yet only Y Boy could see the problems. They could only be bored and count how many beads of sweat were on Y Boy's forehead. The fire faced person was totally bored and complained, What are they doing? I thought I could see something major. This long, and it's so boring. If I knew it would be so boring, I wouldn't have gone to the trouble. Don't be impatient, Qian Lu could only comfort. The result will be out soon. He hadn't expected the prison breaking battle of the Wasteland Beast chessboard would be solving problems. He had never heard of such a peaceful and nonviolent prison breaking battle. That boy can't do it. The fire faced person glanced over and snorted coldly, strong on the outside and dry on the inside. The fire faced person suddenly changed his way of thinking and had a smile filled with Schadenfreude. Haha, there's going to be drama to see now. Drama? Qian Lu did not react in time. Truthfully, he was slightly disappointed too. Think about it. The little guy that those old farts taught can't even outcompete others on solving problems. Won't their faces be even more ugly than they already are? The fire faced person was very smug. 
In their style, solving problems is a fundamental skill. If their fundamentals are less than others, haha, is there anything that is more ironic than this? Thinking about it, the fire-faced person seemed to visualize the ugly faces of those old people and laughed freely. Qian Lu finally reacted. The fire-faced person was not wrong. The old farts and the young brats shared a characteristic. They were conceited. Conceited Yao always thought highly of their face. If they lost through Yao spells, that was not anything major. But if they lost on solving problems, no matter if it was the old guys or the young brats, they definitely would not accept that. Thinking about it, Qian Lu couldn't help but feel anticipation. Ha! That guy came out. The fire-faced person was very excited. Qian Lu took back his thoughts as his eyes landed on the battlefield. The prison battlefield resumed its original appearance. Y Boy dejectedly and woodenly stood in place, he had failed. In the fiendish mist, two figures flickered in and out of view. A wind speed was just slightly less than Zuo Mo's light void wings. Wearing black armor, it was as if he was a black bolt of lightning. A Wen was able to rival the fiend Soul Panther's speed. It had explosive speed and power was. Each impact echoed like thunder. Everyone's expressions became serious. Shu Long tightly gripped the Long Ji in his hand, and prepared to give aid at any moment. Both sides were amazingly fast. Even the members of Vermilion Bird Camp that always aspired towards rapid attacks had slightly changed expressions. Many people were judging inside. Could they retreat unharmed under such an explosive and sharp attack? Other than the small minority that could maintain their calm, the great majority had ugly expressions. They did not have a grasp of the battle. The rhythm was so fast it surpassed their imagination. They gaped with wide eyes at a Wen's light and rapid figure. Was this still the clumsy and slow guard camp? One person and one panther were like two bolts of black lightning that chased each other and struggled. The hard spear thrust randomly and could freely pass through the void, far and near without any dead spots. It was unable to be defended against. The strength of the fiend soul panther also surpassed everyone's expectations. Its speed was not any less, and its strength was greater than a wen's. The sharp spear that howled as it thrust looked like it would be shattered with a blow. People's hearts felt cold when they saw this. If that blow really landed, they would instantly be crushed into powder. A Wen hadn't expected this fiend Soul Panther would be this hard to deal with. He was much stronger than before, but he still could not do anything to the Panther in front of him. No, he had to battle quickly and not hinder the advance of the troop. They had just entered the fiendish mist. The monsters that roamed the deeps of the fiendish mist would be even more powerful. If he could not defeat this Panther, what would he do in the future? Thinking about it, a Wen's presence suddenly became vicious and murderous. Hum. Xie Shan's expression was shocked. Ma Fan also had an astonished expression. They were very sensitive to presence and could clearly detect a Wen's change. To kill the other. Boom. The red tassel turned to a ball of red fire that enveloped the head of the spear. The black fiendish energy coiled around the pole of the spear and burrowed into the burning spear point. The fiend soul panther showed desire to retreat. It was intelligent. The troop in front of it was enormous and not one he could tear something off. If it was wounded here, it wouldn't just have lost its prey, even it would become the prey of the other fiend soul beasts. It slowly retreated. A Wen's eyes were deep black, the black energy shrouding the black armor as the spear point burned. A familiar feeling came. Every time he decided to go all out in the dueling stadium, he would enter this strange state. The killing essence in his body boiled, but the his heart was ice cold. This strange state was the talisman that saved his life and allowed him to fortunately survive so many cruel battles. This was the first time a Wen decided to go all out after entering guard camp. The contents of hardship guard flowed like water across his mind. His eyes became even deeper. The black armor on his body was exquisite and light like it was made from layers of feathers. It was unique in guard camp. At this time, the black armor on his body slowly swayed as though it was alive. It caused the people watching to have goosebumps. The layers of metal feathers spread up a Wen's face, and became a mask of small feathers. Clang clang clang. There was a string of sounds of iron brushing together like many blades being suddenly pulled out of their sheaths at the same time. Many long feathers suddenly bounced out of a Wen's black armor. The long feathers were extremely thin, the edges as sharp as knives. In an instant, a vicious and murderous energy sudden spread out. 
Arching his body and holding the spear, A Wen's legs were slightly spaced apart as he bent down slightly. A Wen raised his face. His slender black feathers of his mask had a fine shine that was savage and cold. The fiend soul panther smelt the scent of danger and retreated even more quickly. In a blink, it disappeared in the fiendish mist. Just at this time, the steel long feathers that rose up off a Wen's black armor shook simultaneously. A power that could destroy mountains and upend seas instantly passed into his right arm. He yelled under his mask, kill. The black spear suddenly disappeared from his hand. Pia. A light sound of rupture came from the depths of the fiendish mist. Everyone's expressions changed. A wen fell down face first. Before his body could reach the ground, he was caught by a black armored hand. It was Shu Long who had managed to get to him. Xie Shan's figure flashed and burrowed into the fiendish mist. He returned after two breaths, and had a panther on his hands. There was a hole the size of an egg on the fiend soul panther's forehead. The hole penetrated the entire head. On Xie Shan's hands, the fiend soul beast quickly turned into threads of black energy. Zuo Mo hurriedly ran over to Shu Long. How is he? No great harm. Just exhaustion, Shu Long said respectfully. Zuo Mo's heart landed now. He had originally wanted a Wen to test the power of the fiend soul beast. He had not expected this handsome person to have such a fiery personality and actually kill the fiend soul beast. Everyone was shocked by a Wen's spectacular attack, especially a vermilion bird camp that usually had bug eyes. They received the greatest blow. The biggest impression they had of guard camp was the crow fiend Mo kill formation. In their views, the individual combat abilities of the hardship guards was not strong. But a Wen's performance today completely flipped their entrenched impressions. So guard camp had already grown to this level. Zuo Mo's attention was then put onto the fiend soul beast that Xie Shan had taken over. The fiend soul beast quickly dissipated, and only felt behind a paw and a bead. The panther paw was covered in fine scales, and extremely hard. The sharp and curved long claws up to five kun long were the most eye-catching. The bead was the size of a thumb, glowing and transparent. It wasn't ordinary. This was not the time to investigate these items so Zuo Mo carelessly threw them into his ring. Zuo Mo suddenly raised his head, his eyes as sharp as a sword that pointed straight at the deeper parts of the fiendish mist. Xie Shan and the others were only a beat behind Zuo Mo. They all raised their heads and looked with shock at the fiendish mist in front of them. A black tide was quickly spreading from the deeps of the fiendish mist towards them with astounding speed. Everywhere it passed, everything turned to black void. This black tide came extremely quickly. In a blink, it came in front of Zuo Mo and the others. The void that seemed endless swallowed everything. The fiendish mist that was so corrosive turned to nothing. Zuo Mo's procession seemed to be situated in a void. In the middle of the void, an enormous sword reaching the sky entered everyone's eyes. Xie Shan, who was already in Jindan, was completely pale now. Like his tail had been stepped on, he shouted in a high pitch, sword essence. Ma Fan, Xu Long and the others had white faces. Zuo Mo seemed to be struck by lightning. His body freezing suddenly, he dazedly murmured lightly. Eldest Shishong, Chapter 363, The Prison Breaking 6. These are the problems I encountered. Why Boy's mouth felt bitter. He had thought he would become a hero and had unexpectedly ended up with nothing. He had received the heavy blow in a field that he had never thought would cause him trouble. In the next few days, his mind would be quite scattered. He had memorized the problems, including the unsolved sixth problem. The other supervisors came over. Little Yao Arts? It is actually Little Yao Arts. They all wore shocked expressions. Some people felt it was nothing. How hard could a Little Yao Art problem be? Y boy saw the dismissive expressions, but he did not argue. The noise quickly faded. After a while, everyone started to sweat. No one had a dismissive expression anymore. In a patch of silence, everyone's sweat increased. This junior's name is Yi Zheng, a disciple of the Great Buddha Temple. Yi Zheng rearranged his clothing and respectfully said with a bow. The greeting he gave was one of a junior. The worldly apparition had stunned him. He could clearly feel the difference of the sword shoes before and after states. Was that core formation? He wasn't sure, but any breakthrough that was accompanied by a worldly apparition was extraordinary. This was why he had given the bow of a junior even though the other did not look older compared to himself. 
Wei Sheng opened his eyes. The ephemeral presence around him suddenly disappeared like it had been brushed away by wind. His eyes became peaceful again like a sharp sword being sheathed so its edges could not be seen. But after experiencing that soul-shaking scene, Yi Zheng did not dare to slack off and offend. Even more, he glanced at the remnants of the fiend soul beast that had been cut up into multiple pieces, and his heart tightened. I am Wei Sheng, from Wukong Sword Sect. Wei Sheng smiled, his attitude warm and peaceful. It's an honor to meet you at last, Yi Zheng hurriedly said. Wei Sheng roared with laughter. Mine is a small sect. You definitely have not heard of it. Yi Zheng instantly became a bit embarrassed. He did not know what it was. Even though this Wei Sheng's attitude was friendly and warm, but he still felt an invisible pressure. It was this invisible pressure that caused him to do some actions that he usually would not. You can just call me Wei Sheng. Wei Sheng waved his hand. Not elder, I don't want to be old so quickly. Yi Zheng instantly felt a predicament, but he had a spark of inspiration. Big Brother Wei. Wei Sheng smiled and did not argue. He asked, How did you come to this place? Speaking of this, Yi Zheng's face instantly became a bitter gourd. I don't know either. I took a mission from my sect and assumed that I could earn some contribution points. I didn't expect to be this unlucky and get sent to this ghastly place. I probably can't go back. Finishing, he sighed. You definitely can go back, Wei Shang said. His tone was not strong and it was a sentence that was very ordinary. But when Yi Zheng heard it, he actually believed it. We will continue walking forward. Before this, I felt a sword essence in this direction. Wei Shang did not waste words. Raising the horse chopping sword, he walked forward. Seeing the situation, Yi Zheng hurriedly followed. The two hadn't walked for a long time when Wei Shang suddenly stopped walking. An excited expression abruptly came onto his face. Big Brother Wei, what is it? Yi Zheng carefully asked. Wei Shang did not answer him, his eyes tightly staring at the fiendish mist in front of him. The excitement on his face grew until even his lips started to tremble. Li Water Sword Essence. Li Water Sword Essence. Shidi. The familiar Li Water Sword Essence was faintly discernible in the fiendish mist ahead of him. Wei Sheng unhesitatingly threw out the flying sword. Grabbing Yi Zheng, he stepped onto the horse chopping sword. He currently wanted it to grow wings. Taking a deep breath, he urged the sword with all his power and charged forward. Qian Lu was staring at the six little Yao art problems in front of him. A moment later, he raised his head. The little guy is a bit interesting. The fire-faced person asked in wonder. Little Yao art problems. This guy is really creative. I wonder which great master taught this little Yao monster. He then snickered. There is good drama to be seen now. Little Yao arts, ha. Huh? This slap in the face is really hard. Qian Lu did not pay attention to the schadenfreude of the fire-faced person and turned his gaze back to the little Yao art problems. He was very curious what the remaining six problems were like. If it was said that he had been slightly curious before, then the six little Yao art problems had successfully raised his curiosity. Little Yao Arts. Qian Lu murmured lowly as he thought inside. In his memory, there had not been any Sky Yao that had such a style in the past 800 years. If one went even further back, then it was the Thousand Year War. The records from then were very chaotic, and it was the era they had lost the most records on. There were too many Yao Arts, too many Sky Yao that could not be verified. What are you thinking so much for? The fire faced person said unconcernedly. In any case, there is a spectacle to be seen. If you are lucky, maybe you will be able to see the next six problems. Haha, <laughs> I hope the little brats work hard, so Ye won't be disappointed. Qian Lu helplessly rubbed his forehead. With the fire person's rumble, his line of thinking had been interrupted. However, he agreed with the fire faced person's words. This matter had just started. The good drama hadn't even come on stage yet. It was unknown who leaked the information. But the six problems of the Wasteland Beast chessboard's prison breaking battle quickly spread. All the major Yao channels were studying these six little Yao art problems. When many Yao first received these six problems, they were very dismissive. Many Yao were even suspicious that these prison breaking six problems were fake. Little Yao art problems, what a joke. But no matter if it was those that were dismissive or curious, what all the Yao did when they first received the six problems was strangely similar. They tried to solve them. 
they quickly discovered just how laughable and naive their thinking had been. At this moment, those spectators that had been so bored outside the prison battlefield finally understood how soul-shaking the seemingly boring prison-breaking battle had been. Little Yao arts were the fundamentals of all Yao arts. No Yao or school of thought would doubt this. The study of Little Yao arts had only been of interest in the Yao art houses for a few years before their study was considered complete. It was not that the Yao of the time dismissed Little Yao arts. It was the exact opposite. They put great importance on Little Yao arts. Due to this, they had put in great amounts of Yao power and ran through all the permutations of Little Yao arts. From that onwards, there were almost no new developments in Little Yao arts. Those with knowledge at the time started to put more effort into intermediate Yao arts and high Yao arts. The prison breaking six problems seemed to be like throwing six heavy stones into a peaceful pond churning the shores with great waves. The six little Yao art problems, put in their order, went from easy to hard. The first three were extremely easy and did not leave the scope of the present little Yao arts. But starting from the fourth question, it went beyond the scope of the general understanding of little Yao arts. Truthfully, Y Boy was very skilled to have been able to reach the sixth problem. With the aid of his firm foundation, even though there were new transformations, he still used his outstanding intelligence and managed to solve the fifth problem. But up to here, he could not go any further. His head was filled with the sixth problem. He did not eat or rest, and his mind was scattered. Higher Yao, like Qian Lu, could detect a completely new road from these six problems that increased in difficulty, a road that was completely different than what the general understanding of Little Yao art was now. This discovery made them happy and filled with curiosity. As Yao that cultivated to their level, how could their eyes be shallow? Presently the six little Yao art problems were the most popular topic of study for the Yao art houses. The teachers of many Yao art houses acted, but they quickly all encountered a roadblock. Consequently, many, little Yao art study teams, came out of every Yao art house like spring bamboo after the rain. Kang Zi stayed in the corner and didn't dare to breathe. The reason was very simple. The room was too silent. Staring at the tips of his feet, his heart was a storm. This was definitely the most silent meeting of the Council of Elders in the clan's history. The elders of great status and power had furrowed brows and did not make any sound. What does everyone think? The one that spoke was the clan leader, Kang Zi's father. However, even though Kang Zi's father was the clan leader, but in this room, Kang Zi did not have a place to sit. In fact, if it wasn't that he had successfully established a dialogue with the master of the Wasteland Beast chessboard, he wouldn't even have had the qualifications to enter this room. The Genius Alliance will not rest, an elder said hesitantly. If we worsen our relations with the Genius Alliance, it won't be good for us. Everyone knows that. Do you need to waste your breath? An elder that did not have a good temper snorted coldly. But he knows, Grey Scar Art. That's what he says, it may not be true. The room descended into noise. Those that were shouting, those that had faces red, those that were winding up their sleeves to start fighting. Kang Zi released a breath, and felt much more at ease. The clan leader really could not bear it anymore and said in a deep voice, stop. The voices finally calmed. The clan leader turned around his face. Chief Elder, what do you think? Has everyone seen the six problems? The chief elder opened his eyes, his voice was hoarse. The elders all nodded. What does everyone think of these six problems? The chief elder asked directly. Pretty interesting. Profound. Unique. The elders chattered. The chief elder shook his head. He waited for everyone to stop talking before he opened. In my view, these six questions open a new school of thought within Yao arts. When these words came out, the others rumbled. No one had expected the chief elder to have such a high opinion of the six little Yao art problems but no one doubted the chief elder's judgment. Because his judgment in countless matters had proved that chief elder's eyes were terrifyingly accurate. Do we have any relationship with the Genius Alliance? The chief elder suddenly asked. No, the other elders shook their heads together. They might have some power locally, but for them, the Genius Alliance was high up and unreachable. Without a relationship, there is no saying that our relations will worsen, the chief elder said faintly but his authoritative gaze contained a thread of heat. Everyone seated here today understands what, grey scar art, means to us. There are no free benefits in this world, so everyone should understand there is no profit without risk. The chief elder suddenly stood. 
Does everyone remember their oaths when they entered the Council of Elders? The other elders were excited and simultaneously stood. Do not dare to forget. We have waited for this chance. The chief elder looked at the old visages of the other elders and sighed deeply, waited for too long. Chapter 364 Reunion standing in the middle of the five element sword formation, sweat was flowing down Zuomo's back. A glowing and transparent water shaped flame jumped silently in the air above the formation. Two opposite presences of icy cold and explosively hot formed an exquisite balance. It was the first time that many people saw Zuo Mo's Li water sword essence and they had curious expressions. In their impression, Zuo Mo during battle was like an ancient wasteland beast, especially his brutal and physical attacks that gave people great shocks. They knew that Zuo Mo had once been a sword shoe but they rarely saw Zuo Mo using a flying sword. It was true that Zuo Mo had decreased his use of a flying sword, especially after cultivating the Great Day Mo physique. All six changes of the Great Day Mo physique were extremely powerful, both speed and power were so strong it was almost absurd. The other important reason was that his improvement on sword essence was not very large. He didn't know why. If he cultivated Mo skills and Yao arts, he advanced a thousand Li a day, but when he cultivated sword scriptures, he was just slightly better than the average Xiuje. He gradually found that the power of the Li water sword scripture could not satisfy his demands. He had even gave the five element sword formation to Vermilion Bird Camp to use to comprehend sword essence. When he discovered the sword Shu in the fiendish mist was very likely to be eldest Shi Shang Wei Sheng, he instantly started to hurry. What was most important now was to get in contact with eldest Shi Shang. Otherwise, if the two of them moved past each other, it would not be easy to find each other again in this fiendish mist. The worldly apparition just now should be eldest Shi Shang making a breakthrough. As expected of eldest Shi Shang, Wei Shang's talent in the sword wasn't just a bit stronger than his. The void sword essence that eldest Shi Shang had released during his breakthrough had given him inspiration. If eldest Shi Shang could detect his sword essence, couldn't he get into contact with eldest Shi Shang? Eldest Shi Shang had just made a breakthrough, his energy and mind should be in his best condition, and it would be easier for him to detect the sword essence that was released. In order to release the strongest sword essence, Zuo Mo even took out his five element sword formation that he had not used for a long time. In the five element sword formation, the water element formation was his Li water sword essence, and it was perfect for this purpose. The Li water sword scripture that he had not used for a long time seemed multiple times more difficult to control at the beginning, but he gradually found the feeling. In the cold and silent water flame sword essence, the explosive power was like the undercurrents beneath the surface of the water. Zuo Mo channeled Ling power in and the five flying swords lit up. The sword essence also grew explosively. Zuo Mo's sword essence had not improved, but his Ling power and skill in formations were much stronger than before. When he used all his power, the sword essence instantly became large. Ling power was being used up with astounding speed. Zuo Mo gradually had an expression of effort on his face. The other people looked on curiously as Zuo Mo set up a formation and casted his sword scripture. They did not understand Zuo Mo's intentions. After a while, a thin thread like howl sounded from deep within the fiendish mist as though it came from the horizon. This howl was very weak, but everyone present had pretty good strength and could detect it clearly. All of them were alarmed and readied their guard. The howl became louder and started to hum. Two breaths later, the sound changed and became thunderous as it neared with terrifying speed. Xie Shan and Ma Fan paled. Before they could react, a sword shoe on a flying sword appeared out of the air in front of everyone. The sword shoe stared hard at Zuo Mo inside the sword formation. Boom. The fiendish mist behind him exploded towards the two sides without any warning. With explosive sounds, a ruler straight and wide passage appeared behind him as though it was opening a road in the fiendish mist. The air gust and blew, but the figure of the sword shoe did not move at all. A breath later, whoosh, like an avalanche, the fiendish mist followed the long path behind the sword shoe. The tailwind was so strong. Everyone's desire to fight almost instantly collapsed. No matter if it was Xie Shan in Jindan, or Ma Fan that had his sword essence manifestation, or Shu Long that had formed his weapon, the rock-hard mentality cracked a sliver. The figure appeared first before the sound came. Such speed was shocking to even hear about. Is it Shidi? Eldest Shishong. 
two voices were filled with joy and emotion as they sounded at the same time. Wei Sheng jumped down from the flying sword in front of Zuo Mo. After examining him for a moment, he smiled brightly and said, This appearance is much more pleasing to the eye than before. Lin Qian had a jade scroll that had Zuo Mo's new appearance mirage. This was the first time he had seen Shidi's new face in person. The face in front of his eyes was very unfamiliar but Wei Sheng could still feel the familiar presence. This caused him to smile. Zuo Mo felt something in his throat, and his nose went sour. Wei Sheng patted Zuo Mo's shoulder and smiled. He said, it is a happy occasion for us brothers to gather together. Don't be like a woman. Eldest Shishang should not underestimate me. Infected by Wei Sheng, smile. Zuo Mo puffed out his chest and pretended to be a manly man. The two looked at each other. Finding the joy in each other's eyes, they laughed together. None of them had thought that they would encounter each other in this place. The joy at reuniting overcame everything else. The dangerous fiendish mist seemed so adorable right now. The two of them did not worry at all. The situation at the front line was stabilizing. Bloody Sky Metropolis Jia was already completely possessed by Yaomo. Previously the Jia was like the Shioja's backyard, where they hunted Yaomo and was now split between the Yao and the Mo. Miu Shi looked at the completely transformed Bloody Sky Metropolis Jia. She was filled with confidence that the Yaomo would achieve the final victory of this war. Wherever she looked, countless war Yao trees formed a forest. The air was filled with the poison released by Highland Hell's bells. Even Jin and Shioje, if they were careless and their Ling power touched the poison, they would be in extreme danger. Large amounts of dangerous plants almost covered all of the empty ground. For Shioje, this was a definitely a swamp. If they entered, they would not come out. But for Yao, in this place, their advantages could increase their combat abilities multiple times. Supposedly, the Council of Elders was inviting some Sky Yao Daren to add another layer of defenses to the Bloody Sky Metropolis Jia. By that time, the Blood Sky Metropolis Jia would be impenetrable. In the region that the Mo had occupied, they were changing it to grow Mo Seed Sea. Once the Mo Seed Sea was constructed, it would become a natural barrier that was almost impossible to cross. In Mu Zai's view, if the Yaomo could construct the defensive line of Bloody Sky Metropolis Jia, the Yaomo would be in an undefeatable position and have the initiative. From the start of the war until now, the strategic goals of the Council of Elders had been fulfilled remarkably well, and the results were outstanding. The reason that it had proceeded so smoothly was due to the element of surprise. The long peace had numbed the high levels of the large Shioj sects, so in this stage of battle, the responses of the Shioj were very slow, and they continuously lost. What would happen next was that the war would enter a state of attrition. This was a cruel and tragic phase. Mu Shi did not dare to underestimate the Shioj. On the surface, the Yao were dominating, but she knew what they had encountered up until now were the fringe sects of the Shioj. She suddenly thought of the youth called Lin Qian and the elite Shioj under his command. Lin Qian had the great mannerisms of a general, and had pointed out her origins from a single sentence. What shocked her was that he was a battle general with abilities comparable to her. How many battle generals did the Xiaojie have that were like Lin Qian? She did not know. In the higher levels of the Yao realm, no one assumed that they would easily obtain victory. The Xiaojie had won the Thousand Year War. They had captured a countless amount of resources. Adding on the development of a thousand years, no one knew how rich they were. So before starting the war, everyone had prepared for hard battle. However, the victories came easier than expected. She was worried that the string of victories makes some of the elders overconfident. In these few days in Bloody Sky Metropolis Jia, she occasionally would hear young combat Yao in groups that demanded to continue their advance. This place had an overzealous mood, and showed signs of losing control. In the following battles, if they relied on the defensive line of Bloody Sky Metropolis Jia, and turned this place into a meat grinder that would greatly reduce the strength of Xiaojie, and when the final battle came, the Yao would have a great advantage. If they attacked first and lost the strategic advantage of Bloody Sky Metropolis Jia's natural barrier, they would end up in an extremely reactive position. However, she knew her words carried little weight, and could only keep her worries to herself. It probably was that she was just worried for nothing, she mocked herself inside. The middle-aged person did not think as deeply as Mu Shi. The busy scene in front of him caused all the blood in his body to boil, and filled with the desire to fight. However, 
He had been Mu Zai's vice commander for a long time and was very familiar with Mu Shi. He asked in curiosity, what is Darren thinking? Nothing. Mu Shi shook her head. Noticing that Mu Zai's mood was not good, the middle-aged person was slightly puzzled but he was wise and did not ask. He switched the top and said with a smile, does Darren know? Something big happened recently. What big matter? Mu Shi said disinterestedly. Vast water clear skies was broken, the new prison is called Wasteland Beast Chessboard, the middle-aged person said with a smile. Oh. Mu Shi was slightly astonished. Of course she knew of vast water clear skies. Even though as a battle general, her proficiency with normal Yao arts was very average, but she still knew vast water clear skies. How many years had it been since the last prison breaking battle? Seeing Mu Xie finally have an interested expression, the mood of the middle aged person became slightly better. He narrated, supposedly, many people saw that prison breaking battle. The entire battle was very fierce, but this mysterious youth in the end succeeded. However, the matter is just beginning. Rumors quickly spread that this youth was challenging the genius alliance. Someone is causing trouble. Mu Shi raised an eyebrow. This subordinate thinks the same. The middle-aged person continued, but this youth did not come out and refute it. Darren, you also know the personalities of the Genius Alliance. Proud. Mu Shi unhesitatingly blurted out. She suddenly thought of her younger brother that had the label of a genius. He also was a member of the Genius Alliance. The clan had great hopes for him. Darren's evaluation is very accurate, the middle-aged person said with a smile. So how could the Genius Alliance let it rest? They gathered and decided to break the Wasteland Beast chessboard. The prison breaking battle should not be activated so easily. Of course, that Genius Alliance is really full of geniuses. One of their supervisors really activated the prison breaking battle. And then, Mu Shi asked curiously. Her appetite had been whetted. In that prison breaking battle, the prison battlefield demanded that this Genius Alliance supervisor to solve 12 Yao art problems within a required time. At first, this supervisor had a smooth time, but he was left stuck on the sixth question, and in the end, did not complete the prison breaking battle. Such a pity. Mu Shi smacked her lips, but her tone was not pitying at all. When this supervisor came out, he wrote down these six problems, and this caused a great ruckus. What type of Yao art problems are these six Yao art problems? Mu Shi was very sensitive. The middle-aged person's expression was slightly strange. Little Yao art problems. Little Yao art. Mu Zai's face was shocked. Her expression quickly became weird. She could imagine what expressions those geniuses had when they saw the six little Yao art problems. These six problems are being called the prison breaking six problems. Even though they are little Yao art problems, but they are very difficult and of a new perspective. They clearly are of a new school of thought, the middle aged person said sternly. Mu Shi nodded. She understood the difficulty involved. Unexpectedly, this matter had new developments yesterday. The expression of the middle aged person became strange again. Chapter 365 Let's have a discussion. The sixth problem had been solved. The news swept through almost all the Yao art houses like a strong gust of wind and was as if someone had thrown a spark into a pot of oil. Originally, the prison breaking six problems were unexpected and unconventional, but it was not enough to cause everyone to pursue a solution. Even though the conflict between the mysterious prison breaking Yao and the Genius Alliance had been aggrandized, those with some intelligence would not put too much importance on it. The matter clearly a manipulation by someone from the shadows. Everyone watched it with the intentions of witnessing the spectacle and for amusement. No one believed the mysterious prison breaking Yao could defeat the Genius Alliance. Any normal Yao would clearly arrive at this conclusion. So when Y Boy had succeeded in activating the prison breaking battle, everyone watched but felt it was expected. Everyone had been speculating on when the Genius Alliance would break the prison. One of the Genius Alliance's supervisors had activated the prison breaking battle. The Genius Alliance had so many supervisors. Breaking the prison was just a matter of time. The prison breaking six problems were novel to everyone, and showed everyone a completely different way of thinking. To be able to create something unique in the little Yao arts which had been studied so thoroughly, the strength of the mysterious prison breaking Yao could not be underestimated. Some powerful great Yao and famed teachers from famed Yao art houses gave their praises, 
and were in agreement that they favored the potential of the mysterious prison breaking Yao and thought his future was limitless. Even as the prison breaking six problems increasingly attracted the attention of more and more Yao, but in the eyes of the public, this wasn't anything. Each year, a few brilliant stars would appear and be praised by these so called famed teachers, but the great majority would gradually grow dim and lose their standing. But just as everyone was waiting for the Genius Alliance to make a new move, everyone noticed a strange occurrence. The solution to the sixth prison breaking problem had not been announced. One day, two days, three days. The topic of the mysterious prison breaking Yao versus the Genius Alliance had lost its fervor and interest waned, but there was still no news of the answer to the sixth problem. It wasn't known who first mentioned this strange situation, but it instantly attracted everyone's attention. Was the sixth problem this difficult? Everyone had been somewhat disinterested in this matter, but their appetites were wet again. The people inside the Genius Alliance did not place much importance on this matter. They were full of confidence. Y Boy had not successfully completed the prison breaking, but it definitely was a good beginning. Young geniuses. The alliance did not lack geniuses. Many supervisors were wondrously in consensus over this matter. They did not disturb the higher ranks. They firmly believed that they could solve this matter based on their individual strengths. Yet when the outside world started to discuss when the answer to the sixth problem would come out, they suddenly found to their shock, that without their notice, they had all been stuck on this problem. Now everyone was in a hurry. The branches of the Genius Alliance at each Jia changed their lax attitude and quickly formed teams to work together on the problem. At last, on the ninth day, the answer to the sixth problem came out. The appetite of the outside world was very high. When the sixth problem's answer came out, it pushed the matter of mystery prison breaking Yao versus Genius Alliance to the top again. Everyone suddenly found that it wouldn't be so easy for the Genius Alliance to win. A battle with great power disparity naturally would not be interesting to many eyes, but when the underdog they had thought would lose in one round had endured for ten, left in a better shape than they anticipated and with a glimmer of hope, the interest of the spectators skyrocketed. There wasn't just one or two groups that wanted to see the Genius Alliance be left looking like fools. We must retaliate, the supervisor from the Lilium Gia said excitedly. His temper was explosive to start with, and he had been very stimulated by the words from the outside. Yes. We have to retaliate. The other supervisors agree with excited expressions. When had these proud individuals ever endured so much mockery and disdain? They firmly believed that the Genius Alliance gathered the most outstanding geniuses of the Yao. They felt very proud of themselves for being among them. HMPH, just took us a few extra days of effort, and all the scum have come out. We have to make them see the reality. Another supervisor shrugged with a helpless expression. Even if it is a bit cruel. What does everyone think? We can't just get beat up like this. When has our genius alliance ever lost like this? The supervisor from the Lilium Gia said. Ha. Very simple. Increase the reward. Yes. Brave ones will come for a great reward. The Yao supervisors had a common enemy and all gave their suggestions towards a plan. Everyone contribute a few credits. Once we have a few hundred. I don't believe that no one in the alliance won't take it. I will contribute 10 credit points. I will donate 20. The supervisors discussed and felt that this was a good plan. Not every member of the Genius Alliance had an outstanding family to support them. The alliance did not lack members that came from those poor families. The majority of these people that entered the Genius Alliance chose to do so due to the great benefits the Genius Alliance provided. These Yao cared about material gain, and not reputation. They usually did not interact with these supervisors, and could be considered to be a clearly separated group. However, these Yao had a fatal weakness, credit points. The credits of the Genius Alliance were really just contribution points. They were able to exchange all kinds of Yao arts and worldly treasures for credit points from the Alliance. When they encountered a troublesome problem, the supervisors instantly remembered these people that they usually looked down upon. In the corner, Y Boy did not make a sound. His complexion was fragile, but an indiscernible cold smile floated at the corner of his mouth. These past few days, the other supervisors had been ignoring and shunning him, and he deeply felt how cold people here were. He knew the reason. Many supervisors felt discontented that of all the supervisors it was he that activated the prison-breaking battle. If he had succeeded, he would be a hero and the discontent would have been suppressed. 
they would have fawned over him, but he was defeated so he became the target of disdain. He suddenly felt he was slightly laughable. Why was he together with such an ungenerous and obnoxious crowd that thought highly of themselves? He silently looked on and smirked coldly inside. The troop would advance a distance every day. If they stopped, Zuo Mo would start drinking with Wei Sheng. The alcohol wasn't anything good, but the two were very happy when they drank. They spoke of what happened to them in these few years, reminiscing on the interesting things that happened in their sect in the past. They sighed. Speaking of it, if it wasn't for these incidents, we wouldn't be who we are today. The alcohol was going to Zuo Mo's head. He did not use Ling power to suppress the effects of the alcohol. He said with a smile, without the troubles and worries in the past, how could Shishong's sword heart be so strong? Without the dangers along this road, I don't know in which little corner I would be in trying to pass the days. I'd probably be just farming Ling fields or something. Right. Wei Sheng gulped down a large mouthful of alcohol, and allowed the excess liquid to freely flow down along his neck. He suddenly said, Shidi, what is your goal? Goal. Zuo Mo stilled. He tilted his head and thought for a while. Then he counted on his fingers as he said, First, heal Agwe, and then investigate my origins. However, this second matter cannot be forced. I don't have too much hope. Most importantly, make more Jingxi and give everyone good days so I do not fail them for choosing to accompanying me through these dangers. Ha ha. Wei Sheng gave a booming laugh. Apart three days, I have a different view of you. Shidi in the past was the one most afraid of trouble. You now have great goals. Good. Good. Zuo Mo's face blushed at Wei Sheng's words. What great ambitions. I'm unable to get off the horse. Shishong. Don't laugh at me. This is good. Wei Sheng put down the wine pouch in his hand and said seriously, I always felt that Shidi did not lack talent, but your personality was somewhat carefree. Now that Shidi has resolve, you naturally will have accomplishments. Even our sect cannot compare at all to the followers that Shidi has now. What about Shishong? What goals do you have? Zuo Mo asked curiously. Me? Wei Sheng thought for a second and suddenly gulped wine. When he put down the pouch, his expression was grave. In this life, I pursue the pinnacle of the sword. Wei Sheng's words were strong and steely without any hesitation or fright. Good. In Zuo Mo's sea of consciousness, Fu Yao couldn't resist praising. Threads of admiration came into Zuo Mo's heart. He recalled the Jade Scroll that Eldest Shishong had given him that recorded the hardships that Eldest Shishong encountered in his search for the sword. They flowed past his eyes. Of all the people he ever encountered, in terms of determination, Eldest Shishong was undoubtedly ranked first. Only people like Eldest Shishong were able to walk to the peak of the sword path. Zuo Mo was shocked and admiring, but when the words reached his mouth, they became, Shishong, let's have a discussion. Discussion. What matter? Zuo Mo's change was so sudden that Wei Sheng did not have the time to react. Shishong pursues the sword path, how can it work without true combat? Combat is the best way to advance. Zuo Mo lowered his face and did not disguise his true expression. He snickered and said fawningly, how about we go together, I'll provide food, shelter, and Jingxi. Shishong, don't worry, we lack for everything, but we won't lack for fighting. We will definitely satisfy Shishong and make it extremely fulfilling. That sword path comprehension, experience, they will rise, and be unable to be stopped even if you want it to. If you are lucky, you might get an intimate friend of the fairer sex, a sword couple in paired cultivation, and to seek the path together. Didn't they say something like the warm home is the hero something? Oh oh oh. Shishong is a true and honest person, and naturally will not be affected by beauty. Wei Shang gaped and did not realize the alcohol was spilling onto his body. Zuo Mo continued to talk for a while until his throat was dry. He finally stopped and took a gulp of alcohol to moisten his throat before he asked Wei Shang with a strong face, Shi Shang, your opinion? Wei Shang pointed at Zuo Mo and laughed. To hope that a lazy guy like you would be serious is like hoping a sow can climb up a tree. It seemed that he hadn't put in enough effort. Seeing this, Zuo Mo took a large gulp of alcohol, moistened his throat and prepared to start again. A crisp voice came into Zuo Mo's ears. Zuo Mo who had been preparing his emotions and preparing to start persuading again and didn't react in time and almost spat out the alcohol. What? Choked by the wine, 
Zuo Mo had dead fish eyes as he turned to look at Wei Sheng. Wei raised the alcohol pouch and put it in front of Zuo Mo. He smiled freely. Yes. Zuo Mo was overjoyed when he reacted. Raising his alcohol pouch, the two pouches collided together. That night, Zuo Mo dreamed off Shishong as a giant that killed in all directions at the front, and he was at the back and furiously counting Jingxi with a dumb smile on his face. So much Jingxi, he couldn't count at all. Chapter 366, Yi Zheng of the Great Buddha Temple Opening his eyes, Zuo Mo felt a splitting headache. He finally recalled that he and Shishong had drank all night and apparently had gone crazy later on, singing and dancing. He didn't even know how they had finally passed out. He struggled up and walked out of the room. The outside was still misty. Not far away, Xie Shan was respectfully asking Wei Sheng for advice. He occasionally nodded and was as obedient as an underling. Zuo Mo lifted the corners of his mouth and silently snickered. It must have been that Shishong's worldly apparition that had had deeply shocked Xie Shan. Zuo Mo did not disturb the two and randomly walked about. The five slave transporting boats were placed apart and formed an enormous circle around the campsite. Having suddenly added a strong member, everyone's morale grew. They put even more effort into their daily cultivation. The worldly apparition when Wei Sheng had his breakthrough hadn't shocked just Xie Shan. A Wen had awoken. Thinking about how the fiend soul beast had forced him into such a state, and especially in front of boss, he was very dejected. Starting early in the morning, he started to run around the campsite wanting to encounter another fiend soul beast to defeat. The warlike 10th grade was not willing to fall back and tightly followed behind. Lil, Pagoda and Lil, Fire affectionately nudged Agwe. Agwe was wooden and would only respond once in a while. Whenever it happened, Lil, Fire and Lil, Pagoda would be very excited. Silly Bird raised her head high, and stalked around with her unique bird walk as she passed majestically beside Zuo Mo without even glancing at him. For some unknown reason, Zuo Mo's heart was filled with warmth. His mood seemed full of sunlight and was unusually bright. Even the blood-red sky seemed to become much more amicable. He suddenly remembered that the fiend soul beast a wen had killed had left behind a paw and a bead. He hurriedly took them out. The paw was as hard as steel, deep black and shiny. The claws on the paw were especially sharp. When he gently swiped it against the ground, it created five deep scratches. With Zuo Mo's eyes, he was unable to distinguish what kind of material it was. This is a fiend heavy weapon, very rare. It is a natural weapon. It is the first time I have seen a fiend heavy weapon of such quality. You brat, you really have good luck. Only a vicious fiendish land sealed for tens of thousands of years like this can form such powerful fiend soul beasts, and produce these kind of fiend heavy weapons. Pu Yao was filled with emotion. Zuo Mo waved the paw around a bit, and felt it was not very comfortable. He said, this is probably worth a lot of Jingxi. The emotional Pu Yao stopped breathing. His temple throbbed. He forcibly suppressed himself. This isn't for Xiuzhe use, it's for Yao. Zuo Mo was very disappointed, and his expression was disinterested. If something could not be traded for Jingxi, how could it be considered good? He had so many subordinates that cultivated Amo skills, but there were none that cultivate the Yao arts. Wait, he suddenly thought of the flower slaves in guard camp. Didn't they cultivate Yao arts? They can't use them. Pu Yao finally learned the joy of beating down Zuo Mo's hopes, and drawled, what they cultivate is the flower Yao coexistence art. Their weapon is the Ling flower in their bodies. Oh, they should be called Yao flowers now. Fiend heavy weapons are vicious things, they are not something that normal Yao can use. Could not be traded for Jingxi, none of his subordinates could use it, and neither could normal Yao. Was this just trash? Without another words, Zuo Mo threw it into the ring, and picked up the bead. Hum, this is something good. Zuo Mo became alert. He didn't understand something like the fiend heavy weapon, but he could recognize this bead. Normal fiend souls would have a thread of soul base source. How could fiend soul beasts not have any? This bead was their core, and inside was a huge amount of soul base essence that was extremely pure. Upon further thought, Zuo Mo understood. These fiend soul beasts were formed from fiend souls. They consumed other fiend souls and continuously grew. It would take at least a hundred thousand fiend souls to form a fiend soul beast. Fiend souls beasts had a basic intelligence and instinctively understood how to cultivate the rudimentary spells of the fiendish energy. 
No one had disturbed this ancient battlefield for tens of thousands of years. The fiend souls formed here had experienced the cruelest slaughter. It could be imagined how strong their soul was. Zuo Mo instantly found that the fishing they had been so proud of before was really very inefficient and idiotic. Out of the corner of his eyes, he coincidentally saw Gong Sun Cha coming over. His body flashed and he jumped next to Gong Sun Cha. Before Gong Sun Cha could relax, he shoved the bead into Gong Sun Cha's mouth. With a moment of inattentiveness, Gong Sun Cha's eyes bulged out as he was tricked. One breath later, Lil, Miss Shy face that originally had a faint blush became completely red. Gong Sun Cha's entire body quickly became red. He pointed with a trembling finger at Zuo Mo but could not say a word. His eyes suddenly widened, and then he ran away. Ha ha. Behind him was Zuo Mo's heartless laughter. The fiend heavy weapon was useless. The core bead was used to trick Lil, Miss. Zuo Mo suddenly felt that there was nothing to do. The troop was temporarily resting at this spot. Through Shishong's description, Zuo Mo knew that the size of this fiendish mist surpassed his imagination. The native beings that he had originally thought were present turned out to be eldest Shishong. Now he wasn't in a rush to advance. Golden Soul. Did you forget Golden Soul? Pu Yao couldn't resist reminding. Zuo Mo hit his head. Right, how could he forget that matter? Yi Zhang's shock grew. He might not be a core disciple of Great Buddha Temple, but he had rudimentary knowledge. Great Buddha Temple was already a strong sect in their Jia but. His eyes swept across those Xiuje working hard at their cultivation. Even though it was not the first time he saw them, his heart couldn't resist jumping. The cultivations of these Xiuje were not high, and their Ningmei cultivation were comparable to the normal disciples of the temple. However, if the disciples of the temple had a conflict with these group of people, not even their bones would remain. This was killing intent. Killing energy that made his heart beat rapidly. Elite. This word suddenly jumped into his head. Only those elite that had experienced hundreds of bloody fights would have such concentrated killing energy. The temple also had these kind of elite Diana soldiers. He had seen them before. Those Diana soldiers did not have high individual cultivation. One would only know how strong they were only when one fought them. They were vicious and battle-hardened and did not care about sustaining wounds. Yi Zheng had once been completely suppressed by a Diana soldier with a cultivation lower than his own. In the following five-on-five -five match, they had not even lasted for twenty breaths before they lost. If it wasn't that it was a match with the sect, they would have died. This Shishong, greetings. A warm and gentle voice sounded from behind him. Yi Zheng's mind shifted. Turning around, joy instantly came onto his face. He was facing a Diana Shu. This troop actually had Diana Shu. Yi Zheng carefully examined the other. Even though the other was not wearing a monk robe and a kasaya, but the trace of a Diana Shu aura could not be faked. He instantly felt much closer to the other and hurriedly returned the greeting. This little monk gives greetings. This little brother is Zong Ru. If Shishong has any matters, you can find me. Zong Ru had a faint smile hanging on his face. Yi Zheng felt astonished inside. The other's cultivation was not lower than his. Diana Shu emphasized their samadhi skill the most. He gave a slight smile as well, and bowed deeply. Shishong is too courteous. This little brother is of low cultivation. I am currently lost and in need of help. Please, Shishong, take care of me. Everyone is together in this dangerous land. Helping each other is rational. Zong Ru smiled and waved his right hand. Why don't we go this little brother's room? If Shishong has any questions, please ask there. Yes. Yi Zheng hurriedly said. He followed behind Zong Ru and walked as Xiuje occasionally bowed to Zong Ru along the way. He thought inside, it seemed that this Zong Ru Shishong had a high status among this group. Zong Ru's room was very simple. Other than the two meditation mats, there were no other objects. A simple place, you have seen a joke, Zong Ru said with a smile. No, no, Shishong's place is perfect for the serene samadhi path. This little brother feels admiration, Yi Zheng hurriedly said. Zong Ru smiled. Which sect does Shishong come from? Where did you cultivate before? Yi Zheng thought inside that the true aim had come out. He answered, this little monk is a disciple from Great Buddha Temple, and cultivated at He Residence Mountain before. Great Buddha Temple? Zong Ru made a sound and suddenly thought of something. He asked with shock, 
great Buddha temple of Temple Sijia. Shishong knows this humble temple. Yi Zheng slightly let out a breath at the other's shock. To his shock, he found that everything he had seen in this day and night had unconsciously put pressure on him. Ha ha! The Honored Temples, Great Buddha Diana Records, is one of the eight Great Diana Records of Zan Kong territories and is renowned. This little brother may be sheltered and ignorant but still knows the Honored Great Buddha Temple. Yi Zheng did not feel any smugness. If it really was like the other had said, Zhang Ru would not have made a sound like he did. His mind shifted. Where did Shishong learn? Zhang Ru gave a reminiscent expression. He said with a smile, speaking of that, I'm not afraid Shishong would laugh. This one has no teacher. This one only encountered a master in the past that passed on some basic Diana spells. Yi Zheng did not believe it. Zhang Ru's cultivation was clearly not weaker than his, and his samadhi skill was even deeper. The study of any other spells could have the possibility of a shortcut, but not samadhi. Even if it was a fundamental, but there was no room for shortcuts. Zhang Ru's Ling power ripples were as deep and steady as the ocean. His samadhi skill was clearly very high. Seeing Yi Zheng's expression, Zhang Ru understood. He did not explain. Shishong has come from the Zan Kong territories, we have come from the Kun Lun territories. There are thousands of Li between us. It is a matter of Diana Karma that we have met on this ancient battlefield. Yi Zheng nodded. Shishong's words are great kindness. He already believed the words. Almost all the Diana Shu temples of the world gathered in the Zan Kong territories. The Kun Lun territories were famed for their sword Shu. He had never heard of them having a large Diana Shu temple. Upon closer examination, he found that while Zhang Ru had deep Diana cultivation, but it was possible to see signs of age and hardship between the brows. He clearly had gone through hardships in his cultivation. The Diana Shu disciples of large temples did not like luxury, but they did not have to worry about material things. They could rest their hearts and cultivate their Diana, and it was rare for them to have hard times. He suddenly thought of the ancient battlefield that Zhang Ru had just mentioned, and couldn't help but ask, this is an ancient battlefield? N. We came in from the outer fringes, and saw many corpses and bones along the way. But it has been too long, and they would disintegrate when touched. Darren said that this ancient battlefield is tens of thousands of years old. Zhang Ru did not conceal it. Tens of thousands of years. Yi Zheng's expression shifted, and then he sank into thousand, ten thousand years. Ancient battlefield. Ancient battlefield. The Great Buddha Temple was one of the eight great temples. With a long history, it had many temple records. He thought back and tried to recall what records would match this. Seeing Yi Zheng in deep thought, Zhang Ru did not hurry him and patiently waited. A long while later, Yi Zheng suddenly murmured in a low voice, Can it be? Can it be? Deep terror suddenly appeared in his eyes. Chapter 367, Illusory Formations and King Hua Zhang Shui. Nan Yu looked helplessly at Kang Zi who was beside her. A few days ago, this guy had found her and was sticking to her without moving a step away. No matter how she tried, she couldn't get him to go away. Fortunately, his attitude was respectful and he was not impolite. When Nan Yu had the time, she would come to the Wasteland Beast chessboard to wait for Darren. Kang Zi also waited alongside her. Darren had not appeared for many days. Did something happen? Nan Yu was slightly worried. But this strong female Yao did not show her worries in her expressions. In front of Kang Zi, she was always steady and composed. She had never felt the days were so hard to go through. When each piece of news surfaced, her heart would tighten. The prison breaking battle was activated, the sixth problem was solved, the challenge from the Genius Alliance. She lived every day with a rapidly drumming heart. She never doubted Darren's strength because she never believed that Darren could defeat the Genius Alliance, but she would still be worried. No matter how strong the Genius Alliance was, what did it have to do with her? She was Darren's follower. Just as she was panicking, a familiar voice came from behind her. This is where you are. Hearing this voice, Nan Yu almost cried. She suppressed the urge and said with a lowered head, Darren. How was your recent cultivation? Zuo Mo asked. He glanced at Kang Zi at the side. Nan Yu instantly stammered. Her mind distracted with all kinds of news these past days. How could she be in a mood to cultivate? Zuo Mo creased his brow and did not blame her. He asked curiously, what happened? In his eyes, 
Nan Yu was a cultivation obsessed person, no, a cultivation obsessed Yao. It was really abnormal for her to neglect cultivating. Nan Yu instantly felt ashamed and wanted to find a crack in the ground to burrow into. Darren, it's the matter of the genius alliance. Nan Yu, Nan Yu, you are too weak, just this minor bit of news, and you cannot cultivate, she was filled with self blame. Genius alliance. Zuo Mo paused. His first response was, what a grandiose name. His second response was, what is that? What is that? Nan Yu's tongue tied up and she did not know how to reply. At the side, Kang Zi's expression was also strange. Darren has not heard of Genius Alliance? Kang Zi probed. No, Zuo Mo shook his head. Very strong? Do they have Sky Yao? Kang Zi swallowed. They did before. In their history, the Genius Alliance produced. Oh. Zuo Mo realized, so they had ancestors who were. Kang Zi swallowed the words that reached his mouth, his expression abject. Out of caution, Zuo Mo secretly asked Pu Yao, have you heard of this genius alliance? Pu Yao didn't even bat an eye and said irritably, don't bother me with these insignificant nobodies. Seemed that this wasn't a famous faction. Zuo Mo silently judged according to Pu Yao's response. Have they made trouble for you? Zuo Mo's courage grew and his tone was slightly unfriendly. No, Nan Yu weakly replied. She hesitated before saying, they are trying to find trouble with you. Me, Zuo Mo pointed at his nose as he asked in shock. Nan Yu quietly narrated the cause. Looking at Darren's attitude, he did not seem to know the genius alliance. Her explanation was very detailed. However, how could Darren not know genius alliance? How could there be a Yao that did not know the Genius Alliance? Understood. Zuo Mo nodded and smacked his lips. With a dismissive face, he made his final conclusion. They don't have the skills, and dislike people that earn more than they do. Seeing Nan Yu's face was still worried, he waved his hand and said, Why care about them? A deranged group. Putting so much effort into prison breaking, there isn't any money there. Full of it and have nothing better to do. Nan Yu and Kang Zi's expressions were strange. At this time, they could not find the words to describe their current mood. Darren was really deep and profound. He he. It really is full of it and they have nothing better to do. A sweet voice passed over. A shapely body appeared in everyone's field of view. The tight evening dress highlighted her curvaceous body, the full and soft chest almost bursting out, the hair styled in a high up do and revealing the snowy white neck. A faintly discernible smile on the face, was highly seductive. There was a small mole at the corner of her red and moist lips that added a hint of enchantment. Kang Zi and Nan Yu were dazed. This female Yao was like a burning flame that could melt people's bones. This restless feeling, was a bit familiar. Zuo Mo was dazed for a moment and then was furious, she dared to use illusions. The tragic memory that the paper crane female had left on him back on Wukong Mountain surfaced in his mind. Zhe hates illusory techniques the most. The furious Zuo Mo did not hesitate to give a powerful counterattack. His hands secretly made a move, little thousand leaf art, bone crushing obscuring flash. A invisible wind spread in ripples. The female Yao seemed to be heavy struck. Her body shook, and her face paled as she gave a delicate cry of pain. Her expression was pained, her brow slightly creased, her eyes unfocused. On the slightly bent body, the snowy white mounds on her chest moved. Even the delicate cry was seductive and caused people's hearts to heat up. Kang Zi's breathing suddenly became heavy as his eyes turned red. Nan Yu also felt her body was unusually heated. She felt the female in front of her was overbearingly beautiful. Such a powerful illusory technique, still not giving up? Zuo Mo glared and his anger increased. His hand gave three, bone crushing obscuring wind. Bone crushing obscuring wind, was the ninth move of Little Thousand Leaf Hands. After the encounter at Hundred Flower Alliance, Zuo Mo had relentlessly urged Pu Yao to teach him a move of Little Thousand Leaf Hands that specialized in breaking illusory techniques. He hadn't thought he would encounter such a powerful illusory technique the first time he used it. Three bursts of wind hit the female Yao at the same time. The female Yao's eyes suddenly straightened as though she was struck by lightning. Her hairdo exploded. As her locks fell down, a stream of blood came from the corner of her mouth. You. The hate-filled and piercing voice suddenly stopped. 
The light flashed on her body and she disappeared. She had been pushed out of the Wasteland Beast chessboard by Zuomo's fourth, bone-crushing obscuring wind. Zuomo finally released a breath. Turning his face, he saw Kang Zi and Nan Yu look dumbly at him, and warned them gravely, this female's illusory technique is very powerful. You have to be very careful. Do not fall for it. Illusory technique. Nan Yu and Kang Zi looked at each other in confusion. They still did not know what had happened. Where had there been an illusory art? Had there really been a powerful illusory art? Kang Zi's heart was filled with regret. It was the first time he had seen such a seductive being. Such a pity. But why would she cast an illusory art? Even though he was filled with regret, Kang Zi finally calmed down and felt that Zuo Mo was even more powerful. It definitely was a very powerful illusory art if he hadn't detected it at all. Darren's strength was, as expected, immeasurable. He suddenly rejoiced slightly that the Council of Elders had made a correct decision. Darren. He said with unusual respect. Unhuh. Zuo Mo was still immersed in the satisfaction from defeating the illusory technique with the bone-crushing obscuring wind. Zuo Mo knew some of the little thousand leaf hands. At the beginning, Pu Yao had taught him five moves, and then periodically taught a few more here and there. However, Zuo Mo always felt that the effect of little thousand leaf hands was average, even less than the sky glass wave, and was far cry from the great day Mo physique. However this time, he experienced the exquisiteness of little thousand leaf hands. If he was familiar with the move, he would have defeated the other's illusory technique with one, bone-crushing obscuring wind. Would he have needed to cast it four times? Zuo Mo finally recalled that the great and little thousand leaf hands were created by a sky yao, and naturally was extraordinary. HMPH, just a half-learned illusory technique and dare to show off in front of GE, they don't want to live. If she knew GE's glorious battles in illusory formations, she definitely wouldn't dare. Before GE learned, bone-crushing obscuring wind, GE still defeated the illusory technique of the Hundred Flower Alliance. Zuo Mo felt very proud. The only grudge he had left was the Paper Crane Girl. If he encountered the Paper Crane Girl now, he would definitely pin her down on the ground and then beat her until her head swelled like a pig's head, get a batch of Jingxi off her, and then use a similar illusory technique on her before letting her go. Darren. Kang Zi did not discover that Zuo Mo was still in his fantasy and said with the utmost respect. The clan has agreed to give Darren ten golden souls annually as tribute. Good. Zuo Mo refocused and was overjoyed. He hurriedly asked. When will you give the golden souls to me? Kang Zi suddenly had a feeling that he seemed to have met a conman. Darren wasn't a conman, right? He muttered inside but did not show any of it on his face. He carefully reminded, Darren, do you remember, the, gray scar art? Oh, right, wait a moment. Zuo Mo hurriedly found Pu Yao. Pu Yao's eye at this moment was like a hungry wolf that gleamed eerily. He stared at Zuo Mo for a while without a word. Zuo Mo's hair rose under his gaze. He muttered inside, was Pu Yao also going to cast an illusory technique? Pu Yao stared at Zuo Mo for a while before shaking his head and saying to himself, black-hearted, really black-hearted. Speaking of this, Zuo Mo's spine instantly became straight. He instantly said, full of disdain, getting the benefit and you still complain. If you feel it's black, take one less golden soul. Pu Yao's mouth was instantly tightly closed. Right, the more we make, the more we can divide. Zuo Mo had an expression like he was teaching a child. He reached out. Give it. What? Pu Yao instinctively asked. Gray scar art. Don't you want the golden souls? Oh. Pu Yao instinctively threw a ball of light at Zuo Mo. And give me that, south sky arrow art. Along with it so I don't have to run over again. Oh. Another ball of light. Zuo Mo contentedly left the sea of consciousness before Pu Yao could react. You antique from thousands of years ago. How can you fight with GE? Don't you know that GE is the sun at 8 or 9? The present is GE's, the future is GE's, all of it is GE's. Before the satisfied Zuo Mo could make the transaction, a cold voice interrupted. You are the master of the Wasteland Beast chessboard. A male Yao covered in blue marks stared coldly at Zuo Mo. The master of the Wasteland Beast chessboard. Zuo Mo rolled his eyes but did not answer him. He asked Kang Zi. When will we carry out the transaction? 
The Blue Yao swept Kang Zi and said neutrally, The Grey Clan is very daring to dare be enemies against our Genius Alliance. Kang Zi's pupils suddenly shrunk. Genius Alliance? Sire, who are you? King Hua Zhang Shui, the Blue Yao said faintly. Kang Zi's body shook and a layer of fine sweat began to cover his forehead. His business disturbed, Zuo Mo instantly became discontent. He flipped his hand, and a little stool appeared. He shoved it in front of the Blue Yao. Hold this. N. King Hua Zhang Shui looked with puzzlement at the stool made from Yao arts. His gaze flashed. It was very rough and simple. Was he planning to compete in Yao arts? Zuo Mo pointed. There, take the stool. Go to the corner and draw circles. King Hua Zhang Shui's indigo face instantly became red. In an instant, his mind turned blank. Humiliated, he had actually been humiliated. Chapter 368, Battle of Tongues. As the exceptional successor of the young generation of the Blue Flower family, King Hua Zhang Shui had an talent unrivaled within the clan. Cloud Ridge Blue Flower had been a famed and influential clan that flourished for thousands of years and never declined. Each generation had outstanding descendants. If they went back a few hundred years, the Blue Flower Clan had occupied a seat on the Council of Elders that oversaw the entire Yao world. The present Blue Flower did not have the status of its past, but it was still a large sect that was firmly established and admired. Compared to them, the Grey Clan was just a wild, little clan from some backwater mountain, so when Kang Zi heard the other's name, he instantly became silent. Usually, just based on the words, Cloud Ridge Blue Flower, King Hua Zhang Shui could charge recklessly anywhere. When had he ever been humiliated so? When had the Blue Flower family ever been humiliated like this? King Hua Zhang Shui was so ashamed that he could die. A burst of hot blood rushed into his head. His eyes glaring, he pointed at Zuo Mo and gritted, Those that humiliate my Blue Flower family shall die. Zuo Mo rolled his eyes. Are you mental? Am I humiliating your Blue Flower family? So you. The anger in King Hua Zhang Shui's chest calmed slightly before he was interrupted by Zuo Mo. Who I am humiliating is you. Zuo Mo looked at King Hua Zhang Shui like he was looking at an idiot and said mockingly, Just a person like you, you aren't ashamed to be called a genius? Don't come out to frighten people. Oh, you definitely want to kill me right now, I know this. So, people like you only have this little bit of patience, only this bit of breadth of chest. Compete with me. He suddenly increased his volume. What qualifications do you have to compete with me? Does the Blue Flower family have more face than other people? You who eat soft rice, go and break the prison. Don't bother me before you break the prison. Zhe is very busy, understand? King Hua Zhang Shui's face flushed turned black and then white. His entire figure wavered unsteadily. Pooh. King Hua Zhang Shui's blurred figure suddenly exploded into a ball of light and disappeared. Zuo Mo shook his head and sighed. He is mentally weak, his mind is really low in quality. Turning around his face, he looked at the gaping Nan Yu and Kang Zi. He said, Ooh, let's continue. Ah. A shriek filled with fury came from the room. Ji Cheng stopped in his steps and then forced himself to push open the door. Pia. An extremely fine crystal decoration smashed loudly beside his feet into countless pieces. Ji Cheng did not dare to block the shrapnel and allowed the crystal shards to hit his body. He wore a smile as he said in a fawning tone, Sis, what is the matter? Who made you so angry? I'll go beat him up. Grind his bones into powder, skin him and pluck out his tendons. His voice suddenly stopped. Ji Li Yu stared fiercely at him. Whoa. Old Sis's angry face was filled with killing intent. In that pair of eyes that enchanted countless male Yao was burning fire. Heavens! Ji Cheng felt his scalp tighten. He had never seen old sis so angry ever. He didn't know which pitiful person had infuriated old sis. So pitiful. In her anger, old sis did not recognize anyone. Ji Cheng was filled with regret. Why had he been so dumb to stare down the barrel of this gun? Ji Cheng knew the time to show his loyalty had come. He pretended to be angry and said, Sis, don't be so anxious. I'll go send for people. They dare to provoke my sis, they must not want to live. Ji Li Yu stared at Ji Cheng for a while, which caused Ji Cheng's hairs to stand up. All right. Don't act in front of me. Ji Li Yu snorted coldly and sat down. There was still anger on her face, but she finally calmed down. 
She propped up her chin, and it was unknown if she was in a daze or considering something. Ji Chang released a deep sigh inside. The most dangerous moment had passed. However he knew that if he left at this time, he would definitely receive retribution. He carefully and curiously went forward. What happened? Which saint had caused old sis to be so furious? That skill wasn't just high. Ji Cheng was full of admiration towards this unknown expert to the point of kowtowing to his or her skills. Of course, he didn't dare to show any of it on his face. My charm clothing was defeated, Ji Li Yu said lightly. Ah. Ji Cheng was stunned. He was sincerely concerned now. Are you wounded? No. Ji Cheng released a breath but still wasn't able to believe it. How is it possible? How can charm clothing be defeated? The Ji family's sky clothing was full of transformations and was one of the few remaining earth level Yao arts in the Yao world. Many of the parts had been previously lost. Afterwards, the Ji family had founded the sky clothing Yao art house. Under accumulation of research and study over years, they finally recovered the original appearance. There were nine transformations of the sky clothing, charm clothing, was one of them. But compared to the emperor clothing and domination clothing of the Ji family, those that knew the charm clothing were the least common. Of the generations of Ji family disciples, there were rarely those who cultivated the charm clothing. The conditions to cultivate charm clothing were extremely strict. It demanded that the one cultivating it was naturally beautiful with a flawless consciousness, but the most important part was that their heart had to be as clean as jade and untainted. The purer the heart, the stronger the power was in their hands. Even in the Ji family, it was one of the most tightly guarded secrets that Ji Li Yu had successfully cultivated, charm clothing. There were less than five people who knew. The most powerful quality of the charm clothing was that it was intangible and invisible as it affected others. It was one of the best illusory arts. Using the power of the charm clothing, Ji Li Yu lived a really a good life. Ever since she was little, she was someone who had always been liked by all. After entering the Yao art house, she became blinding and dazzling, she was the dream lover of countless young and accomplished Yao. The second year she entered the Yao art house, she entered the Genius Alliance and received attention from the leader of the Genius Alliance, Ming Yu Yi. The third year, she entered the Genius Alliance Council of Elders and became the youngest elder in the Alliance's history. After becoming the youngest elder of the Genius Alliance, she was appointed by Ming Yu Yi as the relations minister of the Genius Alliance and was specifically in charge of recruiting talent. She had completely utilized the powers of the charm clothing. These years, she had outstanding results, and her seat as an elder was rock solid. Even as the successor of the Ji family and someone stronger, Ji Cheng still lived in her shadow. No one other than Ji Cheng who also cultivated sky clothing knew how powerful charm clothing was. From a certain perspective, it was a nearly undetectable illusory art, and its effects directly gripped the heart. He had personally seen countless vicious serial killers and mass murders face old sis with a face full of warmth. What kind of monster could bear to attack her? It is that prison-breaking Yao. Ji Li Yu's expression was slightly ugly. Prison-breaking Yao. Ji Chang stilled and then reacted in a moment. He stammered, the master of the Wasteland Beast chessboard? Old sis. Why did you provoke him? Did Ming Yu Yi send you to deal with him? It shouldn't be so. When did it become the elder's turn to attack? Who said we are attacking him? Ji Li Yu rolled her eyes, and her expression became even uglier. The masses are talking so much about our failures. If the prison breaking Yao joined the Genius Alliance at this moment, what expression do you think those people would have? Ji Cheng pondered it for a while and then nodded. This move is great completely pulling the carpet from beneath them, and then, you went to find him? And, I had people keeping watch on that little girl called Nan Yu. Ji Li Yu's expression suddenly became black as she gritted. I just spoke, and that guy instantly flipped. Without a word, he used four attacks of a very strange Yao art. Attacked without a word, Ji Cheng's expression became slightly strange. Old sis, is this a romantic death that you left behind in the past? Ji Li Yu's eyes glared and frightened Ji Cheng to shrink his head back into his neck. But he could not bear his own curiosity and said, and then. Nothing. Nothing? Ji Cheng was confused. I was directly thrown out of the Wasteland Beast chessboard. Directly thrown out of the Wasteland Beast chessboard. 
Ji Cheng stammered and then inhaled sharply. Whoa, this guy was that vicious. The first meeting and he threw old sis out of the wasteland beast chessboard without a word. On pain of his death, Ji Cheng could promise old sis wouldn't easily let this matter go. He carefully asked, old sis, what are you planning to do now? HMPH, this isn't finished. Ji Li Yi spat out with a dark face. In this instant, Ji Cheng was filled with sympathy for that vicious prison-breaking brother. King Hua Zhang Shui's body uncontrollably trembled, his teeth were creaking. He was going mad from anger. He had been humiliated. The Blue Flower family had been humiliated. Eating soft rice. No qualifications. The words were like a poisonous snake continuously tearing and consuming his peerlessly proud heart. He suddenly raised his head, those who humiliate me, die. That right now wasn't good. Kang Zi weakly said. He suddenly remembered who that seductive female Yao was. His heart had almost stopped breathing. He suddenly felt that the decision by the elders was a humongous mistake. Darren's conduct was completely unpredictable. In the blink of an eye, he had offended two big families. The Ji family and Blue Flower family. Heavens. Either of these families could lift a little finger and swept the Grey Clan out. He had just watched as Darren had humiliated the two big families. His heart was freezing cold. We need to save time. Zuo Mo said unconcernedly, who has the time to waste on these nobodies? Nobodies. The Ji family and the Blue Flower family were nobodies. Kang Zi trembled. Just this matter was enough to create a conflict where blood would flow like rivers. He intelligently skipped past this problem. If he let Darren keep talking, the matter would become even worse. He finally understood the meaning of, disaster coming from the mouth. Are you the prison breaking Yao? A weak voice passed over. Why are you guys so irritating? Zuo Mo was completely irritated by these people that constantly interrupted him. He turned around, and swore all over. Ah! The female yelled and retreated five steps in fear. When Zuo Mo saw this was just a normal female, his anger instantly dissipated, but his tone was still slightly unfriendly. What is it? You really are the prison breaking Yao? The little girl gathered her courage and asked. Prison breaking Yao? If you mean the prison breaking battle, yes, it's me, said Zuo Mo impatiently. If you have something to say, say it quickly. Otherwise leave. Seeing that a big transaction was just going to be completed but being successively interrupted by others, Zuo Mo's mood could be imagined. Wow. Great. The little girl was so excited she almost jumped up. I am a reporter for the Tomorrow Yao channel, can I interview you? Interview. Zuo Mo stilled. He thought about it and then said openly. No problem, no problem, but you have to pay. Just a reminder, GE's price is very high. The little girl immediately turned to stone. Kang Zi and Nan Yu covered their faces and could not bear to watch. Chapter 369. I am Xiao Mo Zhe. In the end, the one that accepted the fee was Nan Yu. Zuo Mo wasn't willing to hand over the fee from the bottom of his heart, but this was not something that could be avoided. As for the price, he doubled the amount that Kang Zi suggested. When the little girl heard this price, her expression changed. When she asked her superior, her voice had been trembling. The interview quickly proceeded. After getting the fee, Zuo Mo was very professional. But as the interview continued, Nan Yu and Kang Zi's expressions became increasingly ugly. In the end, their faces were ashen white and wore expressions of terror. The little girl gaped with wide eyes in shock, but she quickly became excited. Heavens! The interview this time would definitely sell. After the interview, the little girl hurriedly left. Watching as the little girl left, Nan Yu and Kang Zi wanted to speak when Zuo Mo suddenly disappeared with a sound, his time was up. Nan Yu and Kang Zi looked at the dissipating white light with dazed expressions. A beat later, Kang Zi said with exasperation, it's big trouble this time. Nan Yu knew what Kang Zi was saying. She remained silent. Even though her heart was filled with worry, she made a resolution that she wouldn't be moved no matter what hardships Darren encountered. As Darren's follower, any wavering, even if it was wavering of the heart, was shameful. Darren, you created great trouble this time. Zuo Mo had a down expression. After this group of people interrupting today, we didn't even finish discussing the matters at hand. Pu Yao looked at Zuo Mo with extreme displeasure. 
But after considering he had to rely on Zuo Mo to get the golden souls, he decided to keep quiet. Just at this time, he heard Zhang Ru's voice come from the outside. Darren. Come in. Come in. Zuo Mo felt slightly puzzled as he could hear the urgency in Zhang Ru's voice. Zhang Ru wasn't like some Qinghua Zhang Shui, he was mentally strong. A Diana Shu that was raised outside a sect and could still cultivate an Abina, that wasn't something any average person could accomplish. Zhang Ru had someone else with him. It was the guy that Shishong had been carrying the other day. Darren. This Shishong is a high-ranked disciple of Great Buddha Temple. Zhang Ru first introduced Yi Zheng. Great Buddha Temple. In the sea of consciousness, Hu Yao shrieked and then gritted, No wonder this person has a smell I dislike. Great Buddha Temple. Great Buddha Temple. So Great Buddha Temple had not been destroyed yet. Zuo Mo jumped in fright at Pu Yao's shriek and fury. It was the first time he had seen Pu Yao lose his composure so, he carefully asked, you had encounters? HMPH. A cold snort. Pu Yao suddenly calmed down, but his bloody pupil dimmed and brightened in turn. The killing energy around his body was also uncertain. Zhang Ru saw Zuo Mo did not react and continued, Yi Zheng Shishong said that he may know what place this is. Zuo Mo's attention came back at the mention of this. He was slightly shocked. Ah, what place is this? Yi Zheng was studying Zuo Mo all this time. It was the first time that he had seen the boss of this strange troop. The person in front of him was clearly younger than himself. When he first encountered Wei Sheng, he had been astounded by Wei Sheng's age, but seeing an even younger Zuo Mo, there was only one phrase in his mind. Only freaks thrived. Yi Zheng reflected inside but he did not dare to slight the other because of his age. The power the other controlled was enough to easily crush him a few hundred times over. He hurried to say respectfully, this little monk is just guessing and is not sure. This little monk has frequently read my Shishong's various records, and happened to come across a vague reference. It referred to something called the Battle of Sealed Extinction. Supposedly, it occurred about 20,000 years ago. This little monk once felt it the description was absurd and skimmed past the notes, but thinking about it now, the description seems similar. Battle of Sealed Extinction. In the sea of consciousness, Hu Yao's body shook suddenly. This little monk's Shishong likes and collects all kinds of wondrous legends and tales. This little monk was influenced and has read about many such tales. What this little monk was initially interested in was the great battle from 3000 years ago. Later, this little monk found that there were several separate references to battles in these legends. One was 3,000 years ago, one was 10,000 years ago. These are the two most common references. Naturally, nothing needs to be said about the great battle 3,000 years ago. But starting from 3,000 years ago to 10,000 years ago, there were numerous legends and rumors about that period, but if we go back even further, there are a few rare records. Of those battles only one could be called a great battle the battle of sealed extinction that occurred 20,000 years ago. This battle is so ancient that the only obscure mentions are in Shishong's collection of anecdotes and fantasy stories. Yi Zheng's words flowed. He knew this was the time to display his value. He could not fail. He furiously tried to think back to the folk tales and anecdotes that he had read at Shishong's place. Even though the battle of seal extinction is rarely mentioned, but those tales all say that the mountains and rivers changed color the sky and earth completely red, and the land was blanketed with corpses. A great battle 20,000 years ago. Zuo Mo gaped upon hearing this, like he was listening to a story. Not just 20,000 years ago, but Zuo Mo even felt the battle 3,000 years ago was like a distant rumor. 20,000 years ago, how ancient would that be, were there even Xiojie at that time? Even though Zuo Mo seemed to be listening to the story, he was secretly paying attention to Pu Yao's reaction. Pu Yao had been silent, and seemed to be thinking of something. This caused Zuo Mo to feel that Yi Zheng's suggestion was not nonsense. Yi Zheng wanted to perform well from the bottom of his heart. But other than the time period of when the battle occurred, he did not know anything else about the battle of sealed extinction. He couldn't help but be upset with himself. If he knew before what he did now, he should have studied Shishong's books. Just as Yi Zheng was panicking, he suddenly heard Zuo Mo asked, is Master Da Zheng still alive? Yi Zheng stilled and his expression was slightly strange. The ancestral master passed away the eighth year after the war. In Zuo Mo's sea of consciousness, a sigh suddenly sounded. 
The viciousness on Pu Yao's face dissipated to only leave behind a thick aura of loneliness. He turned around and silently stared at the gravestone. He lightly murmured, You are dead. They are also dead. Only I am still alive. Just having bid farewell to Yi Zheng, Zuo Mo entered the sea of consciousness and saw this. He perceptively closed his mouth. Just as he prepared to leave the sea of consciousness, he was called by Pu Yao. The battle of sealed extinction that he just mentioned is very plausible. Pu Yao turned around, his expression normal. There were no hints on his face as though what had just happened was Zuo Mo's delusion. He said calmly, the battle of sealed extinction is too ancient. Even I did not think of it. I know very little about this great battle. We need to research information about it. How? Zuo Mo asked, bewildered. They were in the fiendish mist, and lacked communication with the outside world. How could they research anything? You forgot the Ten Finger Prison, Pu Yao said faintly. Zuo Mo stilled and then instantly reacted. His eyes lit up. Their biggest problem now was that they lacked a method of communication with the outside world, and they were trapped in this mysterious ancient battlefield. If they could contact the outside, then they could receive help. The help they needed the most was general information. If they knew the general location of this ancient battlefield, Zuo Mo would be even able to use transportation formations to take everyone and leave this ghastly place. They had entered this place through a transportation formation, then they were definitely able to leave this place through a transportation formation. However, there was a prerequisite. He needed to know the general location of where they were now. Otherwise, if he was careless and transported everyone into chaotic turbulence, that was seeking death. Zuo Mo's eyes brightened. He felt he had been a headless chicken before, running around in this fiendish mist in search of that chance that only existed in theory. But it was different now. They didn't just have a clue. If they could find the path, the hope that they could walk out of this ghastly place would increase. Zuo Mo wanted to rush into the Ten Finger Prison. This was the first time he desired to enter the Ten Finger Prison so much. Of course, this was just an impulse. He had to let his consciousness recover to its best state before he could re-enter the Wasteland Beast chessboard again. However, there was still something he was puzzled by. If this really was the battlefield of the Battle of Sealed Extinction, then how did Shishong and Yi Zheng get here? This is tomorrow Yao Channel, right now, we are broadcasting an exclusive interview that we have just finished recording. The interviewee is the prison-breaking Yao that just completed the prison-breaking battle. To get this interview, we went through great. Nan Yu and Kang Zi looked at the news that the Tomorrow Yao channel were broadcasting and both of them had ugly expressions. This is somewhat embarrassing. Kang Zi gave a long sigh. Nan Yu kept her jaw clenched and did not make a sound. However, the expression on her face seemed to be that of a devoted martyr. The little girl appeared on the news. She seemed slightly nervous. The public has been constantly speculating to your name. Can you introduce yourself to everyone? Zuo Mo's behavior was very normal and did not have any of the nervousness of being interviewed for the first time. Hello everyone, I am Xiao Mo Zhe. Xiao Mo Zhe, such a strange name. The little girl quickly memorized it. She quickly asked the second question, why did you call the first prison the Wasteland Beast chessboard? Don't you feel that it is like a chessboard? Zuo Mo asked in response with a puzzled expression. What is a Wasteland Beast? A wasteland beast is a wasteland beast. Mr. Xiao Mo Zhe, can you speak about the conflict between you and the Genius Alliance? The little girl asked as she lead the conversation, with malicious intent. I don't know them, Zuo Mo obediently replied. Ah, Mr. Xiao Mo Zhe has never heard of the Genius Alliance. The little girl purposefully misinterpreted Zuo Mo's meaning. Heard of them, Zuo Mo continued to obediently answer, just now. Nan Yu and Kang Zi's expressions were very terrible. Even though they already knew the content beforehand, but seeing it again, their scalps still felt numb. Is this your plan to retaliate against them? The little girl cunningly asked. Retaliation? Why do I have to retaliate? Zuo Mo asked curiously. The Genius Alliance is currently challenging your Wasteland Beast chessboard. The little girl had a matter-of-fact expression. Can I charge fees? Fees? The little girl had an astonished expression. According to the number of times, challenge once, pay a fee, very fair. Zuo Mo felt his idea was great. The little girl's face was exasperated. She forcibly suppressed it. Are you going to accept challenges from the Genius Alliance? 
What I mean are individual challenges. No. Zuo Mo shook his head. Why not? There is no money to be made. Hum. Don't you feel this is ruining your prestige? Prestige? I have a lot of prestige? Zuo Mo asked back. Hem hem. The little girl almost choked. If they are willing to pay. There are idiots like that. Zuo Mo was very shocked. Then he thought and said with some reluctance, Ooh, if they are willing to pay, then I can consider it. What is your price? The little girl continued to ask. Zuo Mo pulled Kang Zi over. Talk to him. When Kang Zi saw this part, he wanted to find a hole in the ground and burrow into it. Nan Yu looked sympathetically at Kang Zi, while rejoicing inside that Darren knew she had been impoverished from youth, and was not skilled in bargaining and negotiating. Otherwise, this would be really embarrassing. Is any Yao allowed? The little girl continued to ask. No female Yao, Zuo Mo said resolutely. Why? The little girl asked curiously. Today, I encountered one mole. One mole? She had a mole by her mouth. Oh. When one mole saw me, she immediately used an illusory art on me. Zuo Mo recalled the restless and heated feeling inside his body and was instantly angry. It was lucky that I reacted fast, and attacked back without a word. We carried out a thorough investigation into this event Xiao Mo Zhe mentioned. According to bystanders, the one mole that Mr. Xiao Mo Zhe saw is very likely to be Miss Ji Li Yu. Later, we offered a great reward and found a Yao recording art from a bystander that recorded this scene. Other than this, we also unexpectedly found Mr. King Hua Zhang Shui was also present. He seemed to have been forced out of the Wasteland Beast chessboard by Mr. Xiao Mo Zhe as well, but we did not find any signs that Mr. Xiao Mo Zhe used a Yao art. Experts speculate that Mr. King Hua Zhang Shui was attacked by a mysterious Yao art, which destabilized his mind, and he was forced to leave the Wasteland Beast chessboard. Both Miss Ji Li Yu and Mr. King Hua Zhang Shui belong to the Genius Alliance, and Miss Ji Li Yu is also one of the elders of the Genius Alliance. This incident means that the conflict between the two sides has escalated. The host Yao quickly spat out this string of words in an excited tone, he was very clear. An enormous storm was formally beginning. Chapter 370, Jade Pendant Zuo Mo told Wei Shang about Yi Zheng's hypothesis. Wei Shang made a sound. Does Shi Di still remember the sword cave? Of course I remember. Zuo Mo nodded. He did not dare to mention that he had explored that place many times. I was transported from there. Wei Shang said, There is a person called Lin Qian that has been investigating you all this time. This time, they found that the Yao military had taken over our Wukong mountain, and thought that the matter was connected to you. They persuaded the sect leader to allow them into the sword cave. I accompanied them in. Later, in the deepest level of the sword cave, I found a place that was unique. Wei's words made Zuo Mo jump in fright. He urgently asked, Wait, you say he's called Lin Qian? Yes, Shidi knows him. Wei Shang described Lin Qian's appearance and then gravely said, Shidi needs to be very careful of this person. This man's background is very high and strong. The Xiojie under his command are all elite. He led just a hundred people, but I wasn't even a match for a normal guard. Wei Shang only needed to slightly describe him and Zuo Mo knew that the Lin Qian Shishong spoke about was the same Lin Qian that he had met. Thinking about it now, it may not have been a coincidence that he had encountered Lin Qian at that time. He thought it was very unlucky. He had been very careful but people still locked onto him. Of course, it was just a shock. Right now, they were in the ancient battlefield. Even if Lin Qian had enormously powerful backing, this place had no connection to him. However, he had to be careful when they left. He knew how powerful eldest Shishong was. Even though eldest Shishong had not been Jindan then, but his combat abilities could not be underestimated. If even a normal guard was stronger than eldest Shishong, then what level would that troop be? Seeing Zuo Mo was listening carefully, Wei Shang narrated everything that he knew. Zuo Mo generally understood the problem of Lin Qian, but there were some words that could not be said and could only be left to rot inside. His attention quickly moved away from Lin Qian. If they could not find a path of exit, even if Lin Qian did not attack, they would not survive. The urgent matter now was to leave this place as soon as possible. After Zuo Mo mentioned it, Wei Shang suddenly remembered the Jade Pendant Remnant. Right, Ancestral Master mentioned that the transportation formation had been comprehended from this talisman. 
is there a clue here? Zuo Mo took the jade pendant. The jade pendant was very old and had a broken corner. At a glance, it was possible to see this was a relic that had lasted through ages. Zuo Mo was very curious about an object of the ancestral master. Hum. He suddenly made a light sound. There's something strange. Hum. Pu Yao in the sea of consciousness made a light sound at the same time. There is something strange. The person and Yao spoke together. What is strange? Wei Shang hurriedly asked. Zuo Mo did not speak. He closed his eyes, and his consciousness wrapped around this jade pendant like it was the tide. Wei Sheng's expression shifted. Shidi's consciousness was so strong. Was Shidi planning to walk the path of the Diana Shu? He then recalled Shidi's preference for formations, and then felt he could be a seal Shu. Diana Shu and seal Shu both emphasized the training of the consciousness, but they did so in completely opposite directions. The Diana Shu's consciousness was to be clear and steady, vast and peaceful, while the consciousness of a seal Shu was the path of transformation and cooperation. And? Wei Sheng was shocked. Shidi's consciousness was far stronger than those Diana and Formation Shu that he had seen before. It reached an almost fantastical level. He imperceptibly furrowed his brows. He knew the consciousness was good. Even as a sword Shu, if he could cultivate the consciousness at the same time, it would be of great aid. Shidi's consciousness was stronger but it made a person feel it was too unrooted. No matter if it was Diana Shu or Formation Shu, they all emphasized the consciousness but in the end, their foundation was based on Ling power. Without Ling power, no matter how strong the consciousness was, it was like a person with a weak body, and they were unable to wave the sharp heavy axe. Had a problem occurred to Shidi's cultivation? Wei Sheng was puzzled but he did not speak. Shidi always had his own definite opinions. Even early on at Wukong Mountain, everyone's cultivation path had been different. Thinking about the time at Wukong Mountain, he couldn't help but shake his head and smile. He really was worrying for nothing. With Shidi's practical personality, even on pain of death, he wouldn't cultivate a useless technique. Also, Shidi was usually very strange, and liked to work on those weird and wondrous things. Has Shidi found something? Wei Sheng asked. Zuo Mo's expression was strange. It seems that the ancestral master of ours isn't some normal person. This jade pendant's origins is most likely extraordinary. The presence on it is very strange and I have never seen it before. Wei Sheng smiled slightly and was not too shocked. In his view, he and Shidi were both too young and their knowledge was limited. It was normal for them to not have seen or heard of something. If they had seen it before, then it would be abnormal. What he did not know was that there was an old Yao thousands of years old in Zuomo's Sea of Consciousness. Zuo Mo almost never saw a shocked expression on Pu Yao's face. This was the first time. Usually, Pu Yao loved to act as though he was the greatest Yao in the word. It was rare for his expression to shift and show surprise. What did you find? Zuo Mo was curious as his eyes widened. Powerful. Opening his eye, Pu Yao released a long sigh, and the shock on his face did not retreat. The presence on the jade pendant was left behind 20,000 years ago. 20,000 years ago, Zuo Mo felt his tongue was knotted as he stammered the question. 20,000 years. After 20,000 years, even the most powerful Shioje and Yaomo would have turned to dust, and dissipated without a trace. On the battlefield they were in, the piles of corpses had weathered and would turn to dust at a touch. There was someone that could make a presence remain for 20,000 years, what kind of power would that take? The person and Yao were immersed in enormous shock and unable to pull themselves out. A long while later, Zuo Mo heard Pu Yao sigh. Compared to them, we are insignificant. With Pu Yao's egotistic personality, for him to say such a thing, it was clear just how enormous the blow that the jade pendant had caused. Zuo Mo didn't know what to say. 20,000 years, it really, really was. He could not find the words to describe his mood right now. After a while, he woodenly left the sea of consciousness and said to Wei Sheng, eldest Shishong, I'm going to study this jade pendant for a while. N, just take it. Wei Sheng nodded. In the field of studying strange and weird objects, he could not compare to Shidi. Wei Sheng did not idle around. There was an endless amount of people asking him for guidance. All of them were members of the Vermilion Bird Camp. Vermilion Bird Camp's daily cultivation was primarily in two areas. One was individual cultivation. 
the other was battle tactics. In the area of battle tactics, there was guidance from Gong Sun Cha and they progressed smoothly, but their individual cultivation was a problematic. Most of them were had come from grassroots and had never received a complete and proper education. What Zuomo was able to provide them were numerous kinds of sword scriptures and sword formations. But just the sword scriptures were not enough. No one could guide them through the problems they encountered in their daily cultivation. They could only rely on their own explorations. The sword formation was only useful for those sword shu who had a firm foundation such as Ma Fan. Wei Shang's arrival caused the people of Vermilion Bird Camp that had been wandering in the dark to see light. The worldly apparition that day had been deeply branded into their minds. Just this was enough to make them feel admiration and respect, but many people still had doubts. People that were skilled in cultivation were not necessarily good at teaching. Even more, what reason did Wei Shang have for teaching them? So everyone thought of testing the waters and had Xie Shan go first to investigate. Xie Shan clearly understood everyone's worries. He did manage to enter Jindan but this was the result of a long period accumulation. In other words, he had used the stupidest method possible to break through to Jindan. There was pitifully little he could teach the others. He was also curious just how powerful a genius that could cause a worldly apparition was. He agreed and ran over to ask aid from Wei Shang. When a professional reached out, it was possible to see if they had the ability or not. Wei Shang did not withhold any advice. Just a few words, and Xie Shan had such admiration he could kowtow. After going back, Xie Shan greatly advertised how powerful Wei Shang was. As expected of Darren's eldest Xi Shang, the two were generous, did not hide anything, were just the same etc etc. This time, all the sword Shu of Vermilion Bird Camp could not sit still. But to avoid irritating Wei Shang, the camp used the method of drawing straws to establish an order to ask guidance. This move instantly was effective. To pursue the sword path, Wei Shang had gone through thousands of hardships, and almost lost his life multiple times. After becoming an inner sect disciple, the one that taught him the sword was Xin Yan, the one in Wukong sword sect most skilled in sword essence, in addition to the fact that Wei Shang was frighteningly hard working. Due to this, his foundation was extremely secure. After receiving the complete, void sword scripture, his breadth of knowledge was much stronger than normal sword shu. His early experiences taught him the pain of not having someone to ask for guidance. These sword shu were also Shidi's subordinates. This could be considered helping Shidi out. So when the sword shu of Vermilion Bird Camp came over to ask for his guidance, he easily agreed. Wei Sheng quickly found that the problems many people encountered were very similar. When he mentioned this to Zuo Mo, and Zuo Mo's eyes turned and thought of a great solution. Open a lecture hall. Before, at Wukong Mountain, there would be inner sect disciples that would come at regular intervals to teach outer sect disciples. Wei Shang felt that this method was pretty good and followed it. The sword teaching hall opened in this fiendish mist. After having this idea, Zuo Mo instantly went into the Ten Finger Prison. Entering the Wasteland Beast chessboard again, Zuo Mo's mentality had completely changed. Before, he had treated it as if he was playing a game, but now that the Ten Finger Prison was connected to whether or not they could escape, he could not be as reckless as before. He desperately desired any information about the Battle of Sealed Extinction. This desire surpassed his thirst for Golden Souls. He didn't know how to use the Ten Finger Prison to get information about the Battle of Sealed Extinction, but still he stepped into the Wasteland Beast chessboard. When the light faded, when the chessboard was laid out, he inhaled deeply. A new battlefield, a new battle. Start.